IIHS and AAA conducted three crash tests at speeds of 40, 50, and 56 miles per hour to show how a small change in travel speed can increase the likelihood of being injured if you are involved in a crash. We selected the 2010 Honda CRV for these tests. This small SUV is representative of the average age of vehicles on our U.S. roadways. It also received our best rating in the moderate overlap test, which is what we use for this demonstration. As speeds increase, so did the likelihood of intrusion into the occupant compartment and the likelihood of an increase in injuries to the driver. At the highest speed of 56 miles per hour, we saw that the occupant compartment was significantly compromised and there was a likelihood of injury to the facial region, to the brain, to the neck, and to the lower leg. Speed limits have been on the rise in the United States for the last 25 years. Today, 41 states have maximum speed limits of 70 miles per hour or more. Eight of those states have maximum speed limits of 80 miles per hour or more. The trend of Increasing speed limits across the U.S. is a huge disappointment to us at AAA, primarily because it undermines roadway safety. For all of this talk about advances in vehicle safety technology and things like airbags, much of those safety benefits are quickly canceled out by crashing at really high speeds. The biggest takeaway from this research is that seemingly small increases in your speed can have a really big impact on the severity of your crash and the likelihood that you'll be able to survive it. Vehicle design alone is not going to solve this problem. Engineers need to look at how they can design roadways and set speed limits that account for the local conditions. Policymakers need to work with their communities to use safety tools that we know work, such as speed cameras and high visibility education and enforcement programs.